Doohickey. Put the doohickey on, Andrew. Good, because you don't. Where's your other ID badge? Yeah, let's put that one on too. I'm in here. You're fine. Good. All right. Good morning, guys. I know I'm not normally in here with you guys, but I do know most of you. But I wanted to go ahead and introduce kind of what we're doing today. How many times have any of you wanted to get better at something? Have any of you ever wanted to get better at anything? Yeah. Okay. So are you Brittany? Have you ever wanted to get better at something? Yes. Okay. Then... Make sure we're responding. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. Today is, I mean, y'all are still going to be learning your U.S. history content, but we are here as a team of teachers because we're working on getting better at the things that we do, teaching you guys using different strategies. When you've tried to get better at something, do you use strategies to get better? Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We're working on some different strategies to get better at what we do. So you guys do your thing. You're going to be learning today. We're just going to be working on what we're doing. So don't stress about us being here, but that's what we're doing. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get started with your opener, your warm-up today. So when was the last time you used an approach or strategy in your life? So I want you to think about it for just a minute, and then I want you to turn to somebody next to you and share that moment in your life where you used that strategy or approach. Okay? So think for about 30 seconds. And then turn to your partner and share that moment in your life. Mason. All right, so go ahead and start sharing with those with your person next to you. I coached for 12 years. <laughs> and I have to, I team teach, I co teach. So I'm in and out of all sorts of different classrooms. So I have to adapt to all my different classrooms. But, well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Whose partner had a really good example of strategy in their life? Who wants to raise their hand and share what their partner shared? All right, go ahead. Ricardo shared what he said. He said he broke his truck window because of something. I don't remember what he said. <laughs> Can you elaborate on that, Mason? It broke. <laughs> so how was that strategy? You don't know? Okay. Savannah, what did Brittany share with you? Okay. So she has worked on technique in basketball to try to help her get better. I've seen her on the court trying to get better, so I would agree with that. Madison, did Andrew share something with you? What did he share? Did he elaborate on what type of strategy? <laughs> no? Okay. So we see that Mason somewhere with his vehicle. So that's a place of strategy with sports, with construction that may end up being an area, whether it's a job for him or something that he uses around his house once he has his own house. So you see that we use strategy in lots of different places. So today we're going to turn this more towards U.S. history and look at where we use strategy in our history. So I'm going to go ahead and turn. Are you next? <laughs> All right, my darlings. <laughs> so everybody should have a Chromebook, right? All right. Um, we'll get you in a second. So with a different partner 
than you shared our opener with. Um, you are going to go through a series of pictures that come out of a specific battle. How many of you remember Battle of Atlanta from Georgia history? A little bit. A little bit. I remember hearing about it. Remember hearing about it? All right, so at least it's, we've heard it. Um, so we've got different pictures that come up. What you and your partner are going to do is that you're going to come up with a title. Um, what would you name that picture? So there are no titles. There's just the picture. But we want to see what you come up with. So you and your partner, on your white sheet of paper, go ahead, fold it in half like a hamburger. Yes. So you and your partner are working together, but you are both going to write your own list. So if you disagree, it can be the exact same, um, but everybody needs to write. And on the left side, you're going to give it a title. All right, make sure that each title is numbered so that we know which picture goes with which title. Any questions, comments, concerns? So go ahead, open your Chromebooks if you haven't already. Um, it is in Canvas. It is going to be at the, uh, under modules at, all the way at the very bottom. It should say um, Battle of Atlanta and then Student View. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Thank you. So find a different partner than you did in our opener. So my three over here, you're going to need to find a different partner. No. Find someone new. Brian, you want to come over here and join this group? That way you have some different points of view. Did that work? Okay. So on the left side, you are going to take each picture and you're going to give it a title. Uh, what do you think is happening? What is going on in that? All right. So for each, so you should have 12 different like names for each picture. You're going to get there. Oh, so we just do the left side? Yep, just do the left side. And we'll do the right side later. The map should be the first one. So who's your partner, Stephen? <laughs> What's going on there? Okay, good. Where? All right. How do you know? Good. Sure. Is whatever you and your partner 
You don't necessarily have to agree, but you need to talk about it. Because you may think one thing and then Ricardo may have a scathingly brilliant idea. That you're like, oh, I like that. <laughs> so what did you say it was? Scoping a battle. Ooh, I like that. Nice vocab terms. All right, what's it a map of? It's a map of where they went and where they're going. Very good, where? Uh, blue lines where they went, red where they fought. Okay. So, what kind of title would you give it? Is there something like growth or like something with like growth, like battling or fighting? Ooh, I like that. Number three. Yeah, go for it. I can't help you now. No, so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. That one. Yeah, so we just write down a name. Yep. You give it a name. And then what's the other side for it? You're, we're going to do the other side next. So just worry about the left side right now. That's okay. You're not supposed to. But I want you looking at the whole picture. What's a dude on a horse? Okay, but what's he doing? Okay. What's he doing? What's that general doing? Okay. What else? About to surrender? Okay, maybe. Like the first one, I just put the battle of Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. So now we're going to test you a little bit more, make you think outside the box. Here's the thing, Madison, is there a right or a wrong answer? No. What do I want to see? I want to see that you're trying. I want to see that you're attempting. Because guess what? Everybody in here is the same place you are. It's okay. I want to see what your brain comes up with. What do they look like? Okay. Are they on the same team or different teams? It looks like different. She's wearing like this color. And this guy's okay. Like, don't they have like the same colors if they're on the same team or something? Generally, yes. <laughs> so what does that tell you? Generals of the war. Okay. Which sides? North and South. And the ones we've been talking about. Good. Can you put like a land so bombardment or whatever it's called? Like? What is this? What's sure. What's a bombardment? Bombardment is a, like you are trying to. Is that like ambush? It's trying to prevent against ambush. Like you're trying, if you are, you're talking about like defense. It's kind of like a defense. So it's like defending stuff. Yes, sir. How do you know? Well, what's going on there that makes you think it's like for defense? Because they're trying to shoot them dudes in Atlanta. Okay, good. And so they're trying to protect themselves, so they got to shoot them first. All right, you good. Know? Yeah. Well, is this like this is like a battle, like a battle group, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll watch you play. You tell me. What? Is there a right or wrong answer? No. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a title. I'm looking for what you see and what you get out of it. Hey, you know. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ooh, general versus general, nice. Mm, I can't help that one. Okay. 
North versus South, good. Using that prior knowledge. What do you think that is? No idea. All right, what do you see? A broken railroad. All right, railroad. Okay. <laughs> but what else do you see? What do you see in the background? Houses. Houses, good. And what? Damage. What else do you see? Where is it? There's a train on it. All right, there's a train. There's mountains. There, it, it's like they're fixing it because look, there's like wood piles right here. Like they're fixing all the damage. Okay, good. Oh, real beat. Rebuilding. Yeah, rebuilding. Okay. Well, and they could be rebuilding. They could also just be what? Taking apart. All right, they could be taking it apart. Good. Creating. Creating. Good. Those mountains. What do you think those are going to play? How do you think those are going to play into this? Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. All right. Uh, trade routes. Good. Well, that was good. That was pretty good. All right. And even kind of going deeper, thinking about what we've been talking about. Where are most of the railroads located? Who has the, who has the most railroads? The south or the north? North south. It was at the time. The north. So is that is that in the north or the south? It's in the south. Well, what do we, it's in the south because the mountains are in the north, and they're going. Well, we're in the mountains. All right, good. So is that railroad going to be really important? No. Yes, because it's like transporting all the trade and stuff. Good. And how many are there in the south? Very few. Good. Seventy-one percent is in the north, twenty-nine percent in the south. And you rewrote your lesson so fast. You literally like wrote a whole lesson and you wrote it again. Pretty impressive. And you It's all just rolling with it. It's all good. Sir. It's a train depot. Okay. Why is that important? Because that's how they get in and out and shift goods Important and stuff. Good. Yeah. Where is where do you think it's located? North or south? South. No, south. south. All right, probably the south. Because think about our other pictures where they've been located. South. All right, Atlanta and south. Is that train depot really important? Yeah. Why? Because that's where we like, like store our stuff, like the import and export. Okay, good. Imports, exports. How, good, how we trade. How many railroads are in Atlanta or in the South in general? A bunch. No, not that much. Think about the other day when we looked at North versus South advantages. North has a lot. The North has a lot. How many does the South have? Not very many. So is that really super duper important? Yeah. yeah. Uh, because having a lot. Do you want to protect those railroads at all costs? Yes. Mm -hmm. no. So, railroad protection. How's it going, Ricardo? First train on. How does that train look? It looks like the first one. Is like in, I don't know. It looks like people are building around it. All right. Does it look like a new engine or a beat up engine? It looks pretty old. All right, it looks pretty old. What's happened to it? Like it got hit with a cannon or something. Okay, good. Uh, 11.05. Okay, so we got this, we got this, we got five more minutes. Sounds good. So then we have um, the five minute one, three summaries, and then maybe seven minutes on the, extra, we'll get a little more time on that, so 10 to 15, back that up to 10, so about 10 minutes worth of, like, a little less than notes that we have. Sounds good. So but we have to go and get those listed over there. Okay. So I can go and take those. Okay. So whenever, whenever you're ready to take over, just let me know and you can have the mic. Maybe go ahead and pull their answers. Start pulling their answers. Okay. They'll talk to you better than they will me.
Sorry. I had wrote them on the titles there, and then I can use those titles. And then put them. Gotcha. Okay. Miss. Yes, sir. What's going on in this picture? Like, what's happening? There? You tell me. I don't know. It looks like all the trains are gathered together. Okay. So is this a? All right. What are we talking about? A battle, Battle of Atlanta. So, does this look like it's before or after the battle? It looks like after. How do you know? Because everything's all messed up. It's like destroyed. Good. Aftermath of the battle. All right, guys. One more minute, kind of finish up, and then we're going to start putting these up on the board to see what we came up with. All right. So. Finish up for me. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm looking up how to spell chaos, miss. Do your best. You spell it like. You spell it right. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Which tells you what? Trains are important. Because, and you, because you said this earlier, mm -hmm. because what are we dependent on trains for, especially right here? Trade. It's what? Transportation. Transportation, trade. Good. All right. So, if you will, all right, come back. Um, go ahead and pull up the first, if you will go back on your slides, go to the first picture so that we're all looking at the same things. Um, our first picture. What title did you give it? Somebody give me. All right, what did you do? Sherman's Assault. All right, Sherman's Assault. Where did you get that from? Because it's the Union versus Confederate. All right, Union versus Confederate. Um, anybody got anything different? Battle of Atlanta. Battle of Atlanta. Good. Ooh. Um, all right, what about number two? What do you see? Uh, all right, a general, a horse. See what? Cannon, artillery. It's what? Oh, I like that one. Scoping of the battle. Yes. Thank you. I think I have it. I think I. Oh, you have to use. No, it's just because it doesn't. <laughs> oh. Is it not working? Okay. Yes. All right. So our third one, number three. What do we see? All right. Aftermath. It's what. Destruction, good. So somebody give me a title. War zone. Ooh, I like that. All right, number four. Okay. What'd you say, Brittany? Do. Okay, competition. What did you say? Uh, we put Union versus Confederate. Union versus Confederate, good. Anybody? General versus general. General versus general, good. So everybody kind of has that, that competition versus. Um, we're going to use Masons because what are we talking about? What war are we talking about? The Battle of Atlanta. All right, Battle of Atlanta, which is part of the what war? The Civil War, who's our two sides? 
What are our two sides? Union Confederate. All right, number five. What do we see? Tracks. 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 Trains. What else do we see? Mountains. Mountains. See houses. 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 All right, maybe a little bit messed up, but are the tracks messed up? No. no. Uh, now, mountains. Think about Georgia. Do we have a lot of mountains up, especially where we are in Atlanta? Are there mountains? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is all right, Stone Mountain, our big famous one. So, somebody give me the title you gave this one. Uh, what'd you say? Town Travel. Town Travel, good. Tracks of Atlanta. Ooh, I like that one. Ricardo, what'd y'all get? Number five. All right. What'd y'all get, Madison? Trade routes. Trade routes, okay. So let's see, Brittany, what'd y'all say? Town travel. Town travel. A little alliteration going on there. All right, number six. What is this? All right, train stations, train depot, and they're headed where? To Atlanta. To Atlanta. What do we know? Thinking back, that north versus south advantages, where are most of the railroads located? In the south. Where are most of them located? Up north, which means how many do we have down here? Very few. What does that mean? How important is this going to be? Very. Yeah. You want to do what? Railroad protection. Good. So somebody give me their title. Railroad protection. protection. What did you get, Alejandra? For number six. Railroads of Atlanta. Anyway, Stephen, what'd you get? Do it. Train what? Ooh, trade union. Nice. All right. So, let's, what'd you do, Mason? Railroad protection. Railroad protection. All right. All right number seven. What is this? Cannon. All right, cannons. What'd you say, Alex? Uh, cannon, grounds. cannon grounds. Ooh, I like that one. Look. There we go. Just seeing if you're on top of things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is this before or after a battle? Probably. All right. All right. Nothing's destroyed. If you're having a battle, are you going to aim towards cannons? Yeah. If you're during the battle, are you going to aim towards the cannons and try and destroy as much of those as possible? Yeah. yeah so it's probably before. All right. What about here? No progress. Train isn't moving. Oh, no progress. Okay. What has happened to the train? It's broken down. down. Is this going to be before or after a battle? After. How do you know? Okay, they're trying to destroy it, but what about that train tells you it's after the battle? It's broken down, it's not moving. There's people sitting there. Alright. Yeah, there's kind of a big old hole, like right up here. All right, what do you see here? Train graveyard. All right, train went through building. It's a what? Train graveyard. Ooh, train graveyard. <laughs> what has happened to these trains and to these railroads and to this whole in general place? They've crashed. All right, they've crashed. They've split apart. Good. All right, what's going on here? Like What'd you say? Slavery. Okay, slavery. How do you know? What's because the people like are working on the railroad. Okay, good. Um, what are they trying to do? 
Right away. Good. Um, what else do you see? Okay, they're, they're army Fire. Are army people doing what? They're like pointing guns at them and stuff. Like mm -hmm. fighting like horses. Okay, good. So somebody give me their title. What'd you get, Grace? What'd you get for number 10? All right, Battle of Railroad. Woo. Right, too big. All right, two more. Number 11. What'd you get for the title for this one? City Fire of Atlanta. City Fire of Atlanta, good. What'd you get, Brian? Uh, Atlanta Burning Down. Atlanta Burning Down. Victory. What'd you get, Steven? Ooh, Victory. Uh, Victory. Okay. Fire. All right. Victory yeah. of the, I don't know who it is. Right. You're right. You would be right. <laughs> All right, and then our last one. What's going on here? Oh, we got one more. You, you skipped one. You skipped. Which one did I take? Number you 12. Did, you didn't do it's this. It's got slave, like, yeah, they're, like, that one. Slave like, they're trying to run off. They got this little robot thing in the back. All right, well, skip that one and go to the next one. So, we'll do this one as a group. Bending of the railroads. All right, bending of the railroads. Good. Anybody else? Guys, um, anybody don't mind. Do what? Hard workers. Okay. All right, they are bending the tracks. Those are railroad tracks, and they're bending them around the tree. All right, so if you were replace number 12 with this one, that's my fault. I edited pictures after I'd uploaded it. So if you, for number 12, if you will write those, and if you did not get to one, make sure that you have all 12 titles written down. If yours are different, that's okay. Um, but if you did not get one, make sure it matches up here. Here you go. All right, guys. Here you go. All right, so let's take our, let's take our paper on the back side, and we're going to now do a trifold. So we're going to fold it into three. So now we've got a tri-fold. looks like this. You're good. Hey, you're great, man. That work. Give me a line. Give me a line. Give me a line. Give me a line. As long as you have all twelve. Give me a line. Give me a line. You're good. Hey, you're doing a good job. All right, let's go ahead. Here we go. Give me a line. 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 Okay. So, we got a nice blank piece of paper now. I need you to go, guys, heads up. I need you to go and give me those two lines here down the side. Okay. Ricardo has a perfect example. There we go. Okay. Title on the first column Geography. Title on the second column, Importance of Atlanta. Title of the third column, Battle of Atlanta.
Okay, so we're looking at this now. Let's go ahead and kind of remember what, uh, was there anything from our pictures that had to do with geography? Any of those titles ringing a bell? Any of the pictures ringing a bell? Oh, the road chains and the mountains. The mountains, right. So geography, Atlanta is north or south of the mountains? South. south of the mountains. Good job. So Atlanta, south of the mountains. So the importance of Atlanta, from our pictures, what do we get from the importance of Atlanta? Hard workers. Hard workers. So when we're talking about hard workers, what would we be going and talking about that's happening in Atlanta? Trade. Trade. There we go. Thank you. So lots of trade happening in Atlanta. What did we see what was going on in Atlanta? War. Before that. We had, we had our slavery. We had all that. What were, did we see on a couple here? Look at we have. The idea of trains, trains, trains. What do we need to know about Atlanta? There we go. We're going to go and call it this. What did you have? Your railroad protection. Is that what you called it? Good job. Railroad protection. Do, are we familiar with the word hub, a railroad hub, railroad center? Does that work? Yes. All right. So this is the railroad and trade center for the south. If you're fighting a war, what do you want to do? Win. win. How do you win? Be the best, Be the best and destroy. The there we go. They can't fight if they can't eat. So the Battle of Atlanta, we have to go and get rid of Atlanta. So, our titles. Let's go and make our notes from here. What do we need? There we go. Good job. On the ball. Sherman's assault. So, Sherman attacks Atlanta. Why does Sherman attack Atlanta? Yes, this railroad center. Okay, so they go and attack Atlanta. What happens? What happens? We already have it here. What happens? They win. Right, they win. Who wins? Sherman. Union slash Sherman wins. What does he do to it when he gets it? Ah, there you go. Burns. Oops. Burns Atlanta. Okay. What else? What's he do? The whole importance of Atlanta was what? Trade. So how does he get rid of trade? There we go. Destroys the railroad. Okay, we called it a very specific name. What did we call it? Which, when you said it, I was like, yes! Where'd it go? Number nine. He turns Atlanta into what? Train graveyard. We're going to go put stars on that one. I liked it so much. Train graveyard. Kind of perfect that it was about Halloween, too. Okay, we're going to go and do one more thing now with this. And at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and do what are known as one sentence summaries. Let me see if I can call this.
These are not the only ways to start. It's just an idea to get started. So each column will have one sentence at the bottom. You're ready. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Sure. Okay, raise your hand if you need one more second. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, I know some of you are still writing, but I just wanted to hear really quickly from a few of you. Um, Ricardo, can you tell us what you got for number one? Uh, I, put, I now know that Atlanta is south of the mountains. Yes. All right. Um, and number two, who got something for the importance of Atlanta? Okay. It was hardworking. How hard work in the South is important. Yes. And Alex, go ahead for the third one. Oh, I understand that Atlanta is the center of railroad trade. Mm -hmm. All right. For the third one here. Um, and that one kind of went here, too, for the second one. Is there anything else we got for the third one? Trains are trains in the South are here, too. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. We have one more little piece today. You just clip this on you right here. Okay. We'll see if I can do that. I struggle sometimes. Who knows? It's okay. Oh, is it not presenting? Whoops. Sorry. Oh, it's presenting on your computer. So, you all know me, you all know I love English. Tell me what it is when we compare something using like. Simile, Simile. oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so for today we discuss the Battle of Atlanta. I want you on the bottom of your paper, so underneath everything else, right, the Battle of Atlanta was like, and then you're going to tell me, was it like the heart, M-Y, or the key, tell me why, the trophy, Tell me why, or the fourth quarter. So with these, let's start with the heart. What could that mean? Oh my gosh, I love that. Did y'all hear him? The life of the railroad, that's fabulous. Then he could explain that, right? And he can go from there. It's the key. What would that mean? Someone tell me. The key to trade, and we can't explain it. What about the trophy? Who kind of quote unquote won the Battle of Atlanta? The Union. the Union, and who was that awful evil person who burned everything? Yes. So with him, could he claim this whole battle as his trophy? Does he get to put his name to it? Yes. Does that make sense? And then the last one, the fourth quarter. So. Football fans, what happens in the fourth quarter? Do we have a fifth quarter? No. 
someone tell me. You know, I used to think that baseball decided how many innings they played, so help me out. What happens in the fourth quarter? The game ends. So what game are we playing over here with the Battle of Atlanta? The war. The war. What happens to the war? It ends. So can you do this for me, please? Choose the answer you love the best and then explain it and write it on your paper and make it perfect. You know I love that. Okay. And then when you are done, you're going to put it in your classes folder over here. You know where. Put your Chromebooks up. Plug them in. Have lovely days. Be wonderful people. Yes, Mason, put your name on it. Ask that silly question. Stresses me out. 